Egret leads Jon Snow into Mance Raider's camp in the Frostfang Mountains. Jon is shocked to see a giant among the tents. While the group is walking through the camp to Mance Raider's tent, some young boys pelt Jon with ice and stones. Egret protects him and shoes them away. When they arrive at Mance Raider's tent, she tells him not to look so grim. If Mance Raider likes you, you'll live another day. And if he don't, Egret later travels with Jon and Mance as they march slowly south towards the wall. They encounter one of his scouts, Oral. Egret is surprised to find that Jon has never seen a wag before. While marching south towards the wall, Egret and the rest of the free folk arrive at the fist of the first men. They survey the bloody aftermath of the assault on the Night's Watch by the White Walkers and their army of undead whites. Mance orders Egret, along with Jon and a group of twenty wildlings led by Tormund, to scale the wall and attack Castle Black from the south. Before leaving the camp she playfully steals Jon's sword and makes him chase her into a nearby grotto. Egret starts undressing, and says that she wants to make sure Jon Snow has truly abandoned his vows. She stands before him naked and kisses him. Jon is hesitant at first, but loses himself in his attraction to her and performs cunnilingus on a very surprised Egret. After sex, Jon and Egret lay together in a naked embrace, and she lovingly teases him about his former virginity. They then leap into the hot springs and Egret expresses her reluctance to ever leave the grotto. Some time later, as the wildlings ready to climb the wall, Egret reveals she is aware that Jon is still loyal to the Night's Watch. She understands that he is an honorable man, but warns him that he has obligations to her as well. While climbing, Egret causes a massive crack, which dislodges a large sheet of ice and sends several wildlings to their deaths. She and Jon are left hanging by their safety rope. Oral decides that Tormund cannot continue climbing with the weight of Jon and Egret's bodies pulling them down, and begins cutting the rope. Jon barely manages to get a hold in the wall and saves himself and Egret when their rope is severed. They reach the top of the wall and share a passionate kiss, grateful to be alive after such a narrow escape. Egret, Jon and the wildlings are led by Tormund Giant Spain, then make their way towards Castle Black to await Mance Raider's signal to begin the attack on the Night's Watch. On their way there, when Egret mentions that they're going to take their land back. Jon tries to dissuade Egret of attacking the wall, mentioning historical accounts in which all of the previous kings beyond the wall have failed. Egret protests, saying they'll be successful because Mance is leading them, but accepts that they may die. She tells Jon, but first, we'll live. Along the way, Egret is confronted by Oral, who expresses his distrust of Jon and says he would make a much better husband. However, he is flatly refused. Later, Jon tries to persuade Egret that the wildling's cause is doomed to failure, but she refuses to listen. She tells him that if they die, they die, but before that, they will live. The two kiss passionately. Later, the wildling party prepares to raid an elderly horse breeder's home. When the party attacks the farmstead, Jon surreptitiously hits a rock with his sword, alerting the old man and giving him the chance to escape. When Egret tries to shoot the fleeing man with an arrow, Jon causes her to miss by calling her name. The old man is later caught in an abandoned windmill. Outside the mill, Oral suggests that Jon prove himself to the wildlings by killing the man himself. Jon is ultimately unable to kill an innocent, and Egret shoots him for Jon. Realizing that Jon is still loyal to the Night's Watch, Tormund orders his men to kill the crow. He also restrains Egret to stop her from getting killed. For her lover's sake. Jon defeats Tormund's men and escapes, leaving Egret and heading back to the wall. When he stops to rest, however, Jon turns to see Egret aiming an arrow at him from a distance. He starts telling her he doesn't have a choice, and he has to go home. She starts to hesitate, and then says, You know nothing, Jon Snow. Jon then smiles, and corrects her by telling Egret that he does know many things, and that he knows he loves her. Egret then starts to choke up, and begins to cry, and after he turns his back on Egret, she shoots three arrows into his back as he rides off on his horse. Egret then watches him ride away with tears in her eyes, regretting his betrayal of her and also that she could not bring herself to kill the man she loved. 